Hello and welcome back commanders and commanderettes. Chesty Puller here with another War Commander video. Today I want to focus on the uh, Rhino X Omega upgrades um, and here's why. Um, my Rhino X, uh, I had the Omega parts but my uh, tech center was busy so I went out and did a little bit of the event and finished my Z77s uh, for the level that they were on and now I can go ahead and upgrade and that costs uh, un unbelievably only metal uh, so and then five seconds upgrade time uh, so I was kind of shocked I thought that this would take uh, a long time because I had heard people were coining it to max level and that doesn't make any sense to me so I wanted to put the video out to show you that this is in fact um, uh, the, the easy free-to-play way to do this now I was I was reading on here to see if it was going to be worth it to upgrade it and it's really not worth anything unless it's max level <laughs> because at max level you get that ability where it will start healing itself and other units so I don't know how effective this is going to be and I don't know if they're going to allow it to be uh, usable or whatever but why would they put it on the on the radar if it wasn't something that needed to be done or or wasn't something that they were going to allow to remain viable for a while I hope that this remains viable for a while um, let's see uh, and this brings up another question if anybody knows the answer to it I have never used the base bastion where uh, it heals units and I was curious does it heal units um, only during the attack or after the attack does that continue to heal your units uh, quicker on your base it just occurred to me that if this thing is healing units uh, does it only heal units during the attack or uh, I think on the Rhino X it's clear that it's only going to heal units during the attack but I can see a way that I would use this um, in like a, an inert base like a metal base or something and uh, bring my units in but maybe it only heals the units um, to the level that they were before the attack so I don't know if it can be used to heal units after the fact that they've been damaged so I wanted to show this a little trick that I do I never like to complete the metal bases there's so few on the map they used to be like every inch on the map but now there's very very few I wanted a metal seven I didn't want to spend the time <clears throat> looking for a metal seven so here's a metal six and this is a trick that you can do there's no need to destroy the whole base because you will waste metal you might think to yourself well, who cares right because I'll just go get another one let me show you why because in one hour this base will be back to where it was and somebody else can use it I'm gonna use it the first time here I'm gonna I'm gonna get my maximum amount which is 770 million I think and then I'll go over to the other side of the base and get 770 million metal I'm not taking any damage and the base is still there for me to fill my base up after I use this these resources right so uh, and then I can leave it on the map we used to call this farming and we used to flat people that would farm but to me now I don't understand why people are clearing all the sevens off of the base because um, even without a tactic you can fill your base up with the the metal seven bases and uh, but you don't have to kill you can leave a bunker or something for somebody else because that base will come back in a short time uh, and that's just the way I do it uh, if there's a seven near me I will put a star on it and I will hit it one time and leave metal in there for other people so it's not 
completely useless and then uh, w the next time I need metal I can look in my saved bases and I can find one so to me it's not farming anymore to me it's just it makes sense it makes good good sense so now we'll come back in real quick fill my base back up because I used the metal and the oil and I will leave this base here I won't destroy it um, and and you know I know you might think well yeah well just destroy the base another one will come back quicker than an hour sometimes no I've seen it where I have to search and search and search and search for a base and it's not there but at least now I know within range of my base not too many seconds away there is a metal base that I can come and get metal if and when I need it I don't need metal very often but when I need it it's a pain to have to drive five minutes to get to it and if you have the bonus op on like I have right now uh, the master loot you can't go fast you have to go very slow so it, it really sucks so yeah I I was using the master loot because there was no base 7 there and I just wanted to quickly fill my base up um, anyway those are just a couple of tricks that I like to use I don't mind wasting a master loot I can just go ahead and put I always keep one in my base just in case um, you know so that uh, I can use it if I need it sometimes your special ops fill up and then you have to waste a couple of them to get a new op in there that you want to use anyway um, that is my Rhino X max level now you can check out the um, you know the options inside the workshop and the there, there is no new options for the workshop yet that I could see it's still all the old workshop but um, it did add a lot of uh, um, uh, hit points to the Rhino X alright guys hope it was helpful see you next time